Welcome guys to today's class on conversion of units. In this video, we will see how to convert a particular number in a particular unit to another unit. We have some questions to solve on that. Now, it's important to know that for you to convert a particular number in a particular unit to another unit, you need to know the relationship between that unit. How are they related? Now, that will take us to length relationship, mass relationship, time relationship, volume relationship, and all have you. What do I mean by that? Take for instance, in time relationship, we have 60 seconds make one minute, 60 minutes make one hour, 24 hours make one day, like that. That is what I mean by time relationship, knowing how they are related. When you talk about mass relationship, we talk about 10 milligrams make one centigram, 10 centigrams make one decigram, and all have you. Let's see the question. Convert 0 0.38 hectometer to decimeter. What you have to do is Ask yourself, is it talking about length or mass or time or volume? Please, anything meter is talking about length. So we have to look for the relationship between hectometer and decimeter. Let's how to do that. Let's write down the relationship between lengths. 10 millimeters equals to 1 centimeters 10 centimeters equal to 1 decimeters 10 decimeters equals to 1 meter 10 meters equal to 1 decameter. 10 decameters equal to 1 hectameter. 10 hectameters equal to 1 kilo meters remember meter e t r e e t r e so can complete it now let's look for their relationship 10 hectometers you have to com complete the spelling now what we do here is I will say, let me look for hectometer this side. Can I see hectometer? Yes. I will move horizontally to this side. Then I will move down. Can I see decimeter? I'm looking for decimeter now. No. I will say no. I will not follow that pattern. I will locate decimeter. Decimeter, look at it this side. I will move horizontally to this side, then I will move down to what to look for hectometer. Do I see it? Yes, that means I am to move from here to here. Now, what I will do now, I will say 10 decimeter that is this times times i will now pick the number beside all this now i'll pick the first term pick the second term and say it is equal to one hectometer hectometer i will denote it with hn so 10 decimeter times 10 times 10 that will be giving me 1000 decimeters equal to one hectometer this is the relationship between the decimeters 
and what hectometer. 1,000 decimeter is equal to 1 hectometer. Now I'll bring this under this 0 0.38 hectometer to be under hectometer. Please don't make a mistake and carry it and put under decimeter. Equals to you cross multiply, it will give you x. Now you now say x will be equal to this times this 0 0.38 hectometer times 1000 decimeter all over 1 hectometer. Hectometer will cancel hectometer. This times this will be giving me 3. A T decimeter. So that means 380 decimeters is equal to 0 0.38 hectometer. Now, equation number two, we are asked to convert 3,800 minutes to a year. I'll ask myself, I'll ask myself, what is the relationship between minutes and year? Let's go to time relationship. Six second equal to one minute. Sixty minutes equal to one hour. Twenty-four hours equal to one day. Remember, we are looking for minutes and year. Now, at this, I will say three hundred and sixty-five days equal to one year. Then. Seven days equal to one week. Four weeks equal to one month. Fifty-two weeks equal to one year. Twelve months equal to one year. So this is the relationship between time. This is some of the relationship between time or some of the relationship in time. Now we now go and look for minutes. We look for minutes, look at minutes. We move horizontally and move down. Can we see here? Yes. That means that direction work. Checking minutes first before checking it, it will work. Then you move like this to this point. What you now do is, you now say, that means 60 minutes times 24. Don't attach this hour to it. Times 365. Don't attach this day to it. Is equal to one year. 5, 2, 5 C 0 0 minutes equal to 1 year. So this is the relationship between minutes and year. 525,600 minutes is equivalent to 1 year. Now, you now ask yourself, this minute, where should I put it? I'll put it under minutes. 3,800 minutes will be equal to x cross multiply x will be equal to this times this 3800 zero, zero minutes times 1 year all over 525 600 minutes this we cancel this let's divide that will be giving us 0 0.00723 approximately. Yeah. In approximation, so we'll put approximated to 0 0.00723 year. That is the answer. Now, in question number three, we are asked to convert 600 meter liter over hour kilogram to decameter milliliter over seconds decagram that means 
if you are given this type of question, see what you do first. Write 600 bracket 1 meter times 1 liter all over 1 hour times 1 kilogram. Now, say you are converting it to decameter, milliliter, seconds, decagram. Now, see how we want to do it or see how it's been done. Get the relationship between meter and decameter. After getting the relationship, look for the equivalent of one meter of it. Let's get 10 milli meters equals to one centimeter 10 centimeters equal to one decimeter 10 decimeters equal to one meter 10 meters equal to one decameter 10 decameters equal to 1 hectameter 10 hectameters equal to 1 kilometers now we are looking for meter and decameter i will look for decameter look at my decameter i will move horizontally then move down. Can I see a broader meter? Watch, I move. Can I see meter? No. It means I'm to look for meter first. I'll get meter, move horizontally, then to move down. So decameter, this decameter, we could get it here. Now I will now say. 10 meters equal to 1 decameter. Look at it. 10 meters equal to 1 decameter. I will get the equivalent of 1 meter. 1 meter will be equal to x. Therefore, x equals to 1 meter times 1 decameter. So we are cross multiplying. x equals to 1 meter times 1 decameter all over 10 meter that will be giving you 1 over 10 1 over 10 is 0 0.1 decameter so what i should write here is 600 bracket 0 0.1 decameter times I will come to liter. Liter is talking about volume. I will go to volume relationship. Because liter is talking about volume, I look for relationship between liter and milliliter in volume relationship. In volume relationship, it's important to know that milli, mil, it follows the same pattern, but this place will be changing towards liters. It follow the same pattern, just that, just that we will not be seeing meter here. So, you write milliliter, centiliter, liters, liters liter 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 so instead of seeing meter you will be seeing liters liters and what liters so we are looking for relationship between liter and milliliter let's look for liter first can we see liter here? Yes. Move horizontally and move down. Can you see 
milliliter no it means look at milliliter first milliliter move can you see liter yes so it means you have to move from here to here this is 10 milliliter times 10 times 10 that will give you 1000 milliliter equal to one liter now look for one liter one liter is automatically gotten to be 1000 milliliter i will now say times 1000 milliliter milliliter 60 seconds equal to one minute 60 minutes equal to one hour 24 hours equal to one day 7 days equal to one week 4 weeks equal to one month and so on it continues now i will locate second move move down and it's, i will see my hour look at my second and look at my hour it means i'll move like this 60 seconds times 60 will give me 3600 seconds equal to one hour we have got the equivalent of one hour immediately so we say is equivalent to this we say all over 3600 seconds then times we come to kilogram and decagram now for kilogram and decagram we we'll go to mass relationship all the process we have in length and in volume remains that so only that they will change with what letter gram now we now say 10 milligram equal to one centigram 10 centigram equal to one decigram 10 decigram equal to one gram 10 grams equal to 1 decagram 10 decagrams equal to 1 hectagram 10 hectagram equal to 1 kilogram now i will locate kilogram first can i see kilogram here no so i cannot locate kilogram first i'll go for decagram can i see decagram here yes move like this can i see kilogram yes so you are moving horizontally and downward not upward i can see kilogram it means it will move from here to here so i'll now say 10 decagram times 10 that is equal to one kilogram. 10, 10 decagram times 10 is 100 decagram equals to one kilogram. We have got two kilogram, one kilogram immediately. That is equivalent to 100 decagram. Now, see what we now do. We have got him the equivalence and we have put it here now, what we have to do next is to simplify this we cancel this this we cancel this this we cancel this what will remain zero we cancel this zero six here ten six here six ten times this that will be giving you one decameter one decameter liter all over six second all over six second decagram I repeat ten times is one times one one all over six seconds times ten 
times delta gram. So this will be the answer. That is 1 over 6 delta meter meter second delta gram. Or you don't put it in decimal number. That is 1 divided by 6. Or equals to 0 0.167 in approximated answer. Delta meter meter all over second deca graph. So that is how to do conversion of units.